All right, YouTube, uh, we're giving up on the trailer and we're gonna start building birdhouses. Not really. My name is Brandon and welcome to the seventh episode of the Pile Trailer Rebuild series. We have a full episode today. The first thing we're gonna start off doing is we gotta finish up the expanded metal on the back of the trailer and then we're gonna start working on the hinges. Lola, what are you doing? Looking for bugs? Come on up. No, we got welding to do. I can see your tail wagon. You're excited about welding. Let's do some welding. <laughs> This is one of those discs I got from United Abrasives and it's perfect for sanding down these little bushings for the tailgate. Let me show you what the, uh, what the bottom side looks like. So it looks like a regular flap wheel, but it's almost like a, uh, it's almost like a scotch bright material. So it's perfect, like I say, for uh, just knocking down the little burr that the saw makes on these little bushings. Alright guys, so it's rained about two or three times throughout this episode so far. And the next thing I gotta do is weld overhead the bottom side of those hinges. So I guess I just gotta do it. I keep putting it off and because I hate welding overhead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill in here and then I'm going to put in a uh, grease fitting so that we can just pump it up full of grease and that'll help make this smooth. So here are the grease fittings. It's an assorted kit so I'll probably, oh here we go, it's raining again. So I've got, I'll probably put like three of these same ones in there. So those are the ones I'll probably use and then I'll drill it out and then I'll, uh, then I'll tap it so we can thread that in.
Well, I know I didn't bring you in initially at first, but I want to bring you in, I want to show you up some real close-ups. I was looking at the footage and I noticed that I didn't really give you guys uh, some close-up stuff. So, the grease fittings that I was going to use initially, uh, they didn't work. The part that threads into this was actually a little too long, so I, when I went to put the uh, pins through, they hit. So the ones on these angled fittings, uh, the threads are a little bit shorter, so I was able to use them. Uh, for the pins, all these are is a 5 8 by 6 inch bolt, and I just shoved it through and cut it to length, and as you saw, I drilled a hole in it. So, um, so that's how I attach the tailgate. Uh, really slick works really slick let me uh, open it up and you can see what the insides of them look like so so those pieces that you just saw me cutting with the plasma cutter um, my thoughts are is that those are going to be for the tail lights and I want the the tail lights to go you know something like this is I'm going to basically make an angle iron channel and I also want to put a flat bar stock rail here, which that will tie into. So the next thing that we got to do now is we got to weld up those plates that I just cut out. And let's get these tail lights on. I can see a tail wagon. You're excited about welding. Let's do some welding. <laughs> nope, not today. She's excited. But I guess it's not about welding. But I am. Let's get welded. All right, YouTube, uh, we're giving up on the trailer and we're going to start building birdhouses. Not really. And here are our finished tail light brackets, and I just rounded off the edges, ground it all down just so it's nice and smooth. And then once I weld them on, I'm going to uh, round the edges over like I have on the on the top rail of the trailer. So now we have the tail light brackets all on and when I was grinding this you guys probably saw that these were vibrating and you were wondering what probably what's going on there. Well as soon as we get that rail that's going to go halfway up uh, these will tie into that. These will no longer wiggle around like that. Right, there's one thing that I still have left to do that I haven't done yet so I'm just going to do it now and it involves overhead welding. You guys know how much I can't stand overhead welding. The hinges when I did the tailgate, that really wasn't overhead welding. I, when, I, when I mean overhead, when I say I don't like doing it, that's literally like when it's over my head and 
fire is just raining down on me. That's not what I like. I don't mind vertical welding. Uh, big difference between vertical welding and overhead. So I probably didn't really call it what it was. Um, but when I refer to overhead welding, it's when fire is raining down on me. And so there are some cross members that I never welded the underside. And I probably should have done it then when I had the trailer upside down, but I didn't. I just moved on. I was in a hurry. Um, so now I will pay for that. So <laughs> I'm going to go do some actual overhead welding now. And um, hopefully I'm not too much covered in fire when I'm done. All right, guys. Here I go. I'm going in. Burn my neck. One more to go, that's it. I did it. I'm just a baby. I hate welding overhead. But it came out okay. And I only caught fire a little bit. A little bit of uh, molten metal dropped onto my neck, but hey, it's all part of it, right? There, we've got our side rails all on now, and we just need to put on our tailgate, tailgate latch, and that's gonna be super easy. Let me show you how we're gonna do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna weld this little piece on here, then we're gonna weld that right on top of it. And then we'll cut this to match that profile so it's nice. So the way this works is that little detent, you see that little detent pin right there? So you just rotate it and it locks in. And then to unlock it, pull it back, off you go. We're almost there guys. The only thing we have left to do right now that I can think of is wiring. So let's do that now. So what I do for the wiring is I use, if you're in the United States, it's called EMT uh, tubing. It's half inch electrical conduit. And this is what it looks like right here. It's super cheap. Um, I paid roughly $2.20 for five feet of it. Uh, and it's just an awesome way to run all your wiring for the trailer. It protects it. 
um, it's just a good way of doing it and it's going to be hard to film it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to the way I attach this is I tack weld it all up under the trailer and I will put this all together and when I get it all finished I'll show you what it looks like and how I did it because uh, it worked really slick. All right so now we're under the trailer looking forward that tube right there is where it's coming down and it, then it's going to go into this conduit then it comes down and I fabricated up some of these tabs and then slid the tube through it and then tacked the tubing to the tab so you can see where it stops up back so the wire is going to come out of that so then from there where it comes out two wires are going to go up and they're going to run into this tube and then the other two wires are going to run in that other piece of conduit it's going to then come out here it's going to make a loop up underneath this cross member it's going to run through this piece of angle that I tacked on and then it's going to run up into this piece of conduit it's going to come out and go directly into the tail light and it's the same thing on the other side well guys we didn't quite get it in primer and paint this episode's already gone a little bit longer than I was hoping for so I promise you episode 8 we will get the primer and the paint on it and I also have a special surprise that I want to show you so I want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in we're almost done I've had a whole lot of fun and I'm hoping you guys have enjoyed it along the way so for episode 8 I'm gonna get the wiring in we are definitely getting the primer on it and we're getting the paint on it period dot end it's gonna happen so thanks for watching guys please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe see ya my wife just got back from the grocery store and I got a half a pound of scallops that I'm going to wash down with a nice ice cold one.